Yo, 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 what is good, y'all? It's your homie Potter here from With The Homies. Um, I just want to give a quick preface before this video starts. This isn't the 100% complete interview. This is about 95% um, of the interview in its entirety. Um, unfortunately, while we were recording, my camera had died, uh, so I had to wait for it to recharge for a couple minutes. Um, and the other camera that we were using, uh, its memory card has reached its storage limit, so we had to swap that in and out. Um, but aside from that, it's it's the complete and total interview. Nothing altered, nothing changed. I also wanted to give a shout out to Yoshiyuki Tomino and his team, his translator, everyone there that you know was extremely welcoming, uh, extremely nice, great great team of people to work with. Um, you know, I'm extremely grateful that they had the time to sit down and, and uh, talk with us, uh, say what's up, answer some questions. Um, it was a great experience. Shout out to Yoshiyuki Tomino, a legend in the anime world. Uh, if you're not aware, he is the creator of Gundam, the original creator of the series. Also, shout out to Anime NYC for hooking us up with these press passes. Um, you know, it was a great experience. We're extremely grateful to have been there and covered it for three days and even covering a little bit now. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned for the opening ceremony of Anime NYC also uh, being put up live on our channel. Um, and yeah, thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all for watching. Like, follow, and subscribe, baby. So uh, to start with the biggest regret, I'm afraid I cannot spill that because it's, it, it's actually true and I just plead the fifth. <laughs> and I can speak to my greatest joy, and that is that I was invited here to Anime NYC. あった、ファンの方、10年前と実は so it turns out, for those of you who are not aware, I was actually invited 10 years ago as well um, to New York to a completely different event run by a different organization. And I want to say that my interactions with the fans and the fans themselves is completely different between then and now. Uh, back then, you know, um, I felt like there were a lot of just rabid anime fans. And now I feel like there are so many fans out there who actually comprehend Gundam as a as a work as and and also um, they can approach Gundam from a more neutral standpoint. And uh, we all know that the next month more work the Charles counter attack will be go back to big three um, US and uh, are you feel excited about it because it's going to be uh, just like you said we feel different ways one every time we saw the the, 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 the 
Gangam. And uh, so what you want the audience to learn from this event, this new uh, new play? で、あの、その来月アメリカでシャアの役者がまたもう一度上映されるあの、結構できたあの、まあ、映画館で上映されるんですけど、それに関してあの、ご感想いかがですか? Uh, first of all, let me just say the first part of what you say. Um, in terms of do I feel excited or not? I don't particularly feel anything special. And would you like to know why? Yeah, yeah, or would you like to know what I actually feel? Yeah. Don't hold the glasses. Twenty years too late. <laughs> um, if you had to pilot one gun, then which gun would it be? I would never want to. <laughs> uh, the Gundam has been around in Japan for 40 years. It really wasn't until about 20 years ago that it took off in America. When that happened, were you at all surprised to see this wave of popularity finally reach uh, all around the world? なかったし、あんまりがんだんのあのま、上映なりなかったんですけど、20年前アメリカにやっとがんだんが渡ってヒットしたことにはごびっくりされました。します。のなんサプライズだ。ビストカトリコ。ライバルに負けたっていう意識
娯楽としての戦闘ものをやってみましたけれどもその仕事を週5年ぐらいやりましたので,それで結局そういうものに飽きる飽きた結果が僕の場合には。基本的にもう子供向けに作るということ自体を嫌になったというのを思いました。So, in fact,、um, when the giant robot genre really kind of came into being in Japan,、uh, you know, it was truly a pure, purely entertainment medium for kids.、Uh, but, and, and even though some of these Projects involved war. And I was kind of, a, I had about five years in the field of working on such things. I just got tired of it. And, but on the other hand, because I got tired of it, it that ended up resulting in Gundam. <laughs> so,、uh, but I just didn't want to keep making things for kids、uh, that were war that was supposed to be purely entertainment. Hey, <clears throat> What's,、uh, what inspired you to? Make gums the way you did, like the how they look visually and, and the colors you use, especially on the RX 78, those iconic colors of the red, the blue, the white, the yellow. サンダイカラーっていうあのおもちゃのサンダイカラーっていうのは赤とブルーとホワイトの組み合わせですからそれを絶対に外すことはできないというのは絶対条件ですでそれに従わなければ制作資金が捻出されないわけですからそれには従いました So、uh, fundamentally the sponsor of the show was a toy company So we had to、uh, acquiesce to their demands Which was to use the three primary colors of toys, which were red, blue, and white. And that was an absolute rule. So, if we hadn't followed it, if we broke that rule, we wouldn't get the budget. So, that's kind of how it ended up happening. Actually, if you think about it, anything that、uh, any show story set in space, you would fundamentally only be using white. えー、敵と味方つまりあの味方と敵の色が同じホワイトだと実言うと映画的には成立しません敵と味方が分からなくなるそして戦闘シーンっていうのは価値観は短いのでどうしても敵と味方を識別するために色をつけざるを得なくなったっていうことがまあアニメーションだからそれからまた映画であれば当然そうせ,せざるを得ないで,ですからの「スター・ウォーズ」は多少それをあの無視をして基本的に宇宙船のものはホワイトに近いものでやってるんだよほどだから形を変えなければしょうがないみたいなことが起こってますのでこちらはやっぱりアニメーションだから色をつけてしまいということでこの部分に関してはあのリアリズムを全否定する形で彩色を決めざるを決めざるを得ませんでした。So... The, the problem is, of course, if, if in real life and when you go to space, everything is white. But if you're making a film, whether it's live action or not, you know, how are you going to separate out who's a foe and who's an ally? You can't if they're all white. So it doesn't make good cine- cinematography. So, therefore, you know, look at Star Wars, for example. All the ships are, are almost white. So, the way you distinguish who's who is by the shape of the ship, the actual kind of form. So, but we said, you know, it's animation. We could probably stray from the realism a little bit. So that's why we added more color. How does it feel to know that you've helped bring two completely different cultures together and inspire artists all around the world? えー、20, 20世紀という時代になった時には、えー、基本的に国境を越えた、えー、と地球人というフィーリングを手に入れられるのではないかと思いましたので、えー、人種的な差別というのが基本的になくなっているというのは大前提でこの辺りを作り始めました。So, 
When I started the story, though, what I envisioned was, you know, we finally reached the 20th century. Why can't we live in a, a world where there's no borders, where there's no discrimination? And instead of thinking of us as Americans or Japanese or Europeans, we're all Terrans, or we're all, you know, we're all Earth people. So that's that's kind of what I um, envisioned with Gundam. Um, ben Carlos declared, November 15th is Gundam Day, and I just wanted to know how that came to be, and out of all the TV shows in the world, like, why Gundam having its own uh, day for the day? I actually don't know the nitty gritty details of how the actual making of Gundam Day happened, making yesterday Gundam Day. But you know, as uh, Councilman Callis mentioned during his speech, uh, he is a Gundam fan, so perhaps that had something to do with it. <laughs> In fact, I had a chance to chat with him a little bit uh, afterwards, and I came to realize that he's probably seen more Gundam than I have. <laughs> and not only has he seen it, but he remembers it better than I do, too. So I was very impressed. Uh, looking back on all of the uh, series that you worked on, uh, if you had a chance to go back and do something differently with them, would you? And if so, what would it be? Mm -hmm. Does it restrict it to Gundam or not even Gundam? Uh, no, like the Gundam series. 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 あの、so in my case, the um, the most recent things I worked on were Shars Kayan Attack and Turning Gundam. And you know, in the last few years, you know, there are things that I was like, ah, maybe I could have done this better or something, more or less. But what I also realized was that if, you know, what even though I would I have had times when I wanted to redo certain things about Turn A Gundam or redo it, it didn't come out too bad. So I don't think I would actually go back and do it over. And same thing with Shars Counter Attack. I think they're fine the way they are. ものがたりの上で上手に言ってしまえば戦闘シーンをやらせるとかっていうことできなかったんじゃないのか。物語としてちょっと何て言うのかな。文芸的なところに行き過ぎてしまって。ガンダム出したのは少し損あのな、なく
has any? Oh, yes. We'll start with you. Gundam has been around for 40 years and you've made many different installments in the franchise. But you strike me as a creator who always seeks to innovate and explore new ideas. I was wondering what makes Gundam a universe in, in which we're continuing to be interested in telling stories. A place where you can tell stories if you can't tell with another franchise or a new concept. えっと、自分の意見では、その、40年間のガンダムデイ、あらゆる作品が売り出されてるんですけど、その監督ご自身はなんか常に集め、常に発展されたいような方に印象を受けるんですけど、なぜその、またガンダムの世界に戻って、あ
characters, the, the humanoid characters, you have separate animators who can draw the battleships and the other mecha. And then you have, and even with the mecha, you have, you've got the battleships and then you've got the humanoid ro robots. They're all separate staff. So I'm thinking to myself, well, if I were to make a non-Gundam project that still has the same kind of themes and the same kind of visuals, Sunrise may be the only company left that I could work at. So if I were to leave Sunrise to work on an entire project, I'd have nowhere to go. So, you know, unfortunately, I'm that kind of kind of awkward individual. <laughs> <laughs> From the very beginning, Gundam has focused on every facet of the war from the perspective of both sides in the conflict. Why was showing all of that so important to you? で、関係性が単純に善悪ではないからどうしても両方へなことになるというそれだけのことです。え、いや、そうでしょ、言ったかったことなんですけど、それは。So, um, you know, I wanted to depict war as truthfully as possible and as realistically as possible and in, in order to do that, you do unfortunately always have two or more sides. But if you really look at each of those sides, neither one could truly be all enemy and neither one could be all ally. You know, each side has a little bit of each or each side sees the other as the other. So that's why I had to put that in the story as well. Otherwise, it wouldn't be realistic. で、あの条件になっています。このモビルスーツを大量に出すための条件というのは個人では絶対にできないモビルの。ちょっとどうしても国家予算レベルのものがないとモビルスーツ製造ができない。だから自動的に戦場を舞台にせざるを得ないそれ
むしろそのガンダムワールドを作ってきたことによっての限界っていうのは分かりまして、その限界値を突破するにはどうしたらいいかということしか考えませ、ねうん。でその結果、ディノでコンビニスタでは、基本的に子供に向けてのえー、と巨大ロボットものを作るというところにシフト前を完全にしたというか。So actually,、um, you speak of this phenomenon. I'm aware of the phenomenon, but I don't really、uh, take it into consideration. I try not to even be conscious of whether it's fan reaction or market reaction.、Um, what, I, what I was、uh, paying attention to, though, is I was realizing I was coming to a stage where Um, we were reaching the limits of the Gundam universe. And for me,、uh, the challenge was how do we then transcend that? How do we break through the wall, the ceiling that the Gundam universe seems to have reached? And that's how I came to create Gundam Sanji. And you know, I wanted to go back and make a story for children that involves giant robots. One last question is someone who hasn't asked you, you've not asked a question, right? Go ahead. あのガンダムっていう作品は今はもう携帯的にあの消費できることに関してはどう思われますか例えばあの小さなフィギュアがあってすぐポケットに入れたりあの携帯で配信を見たりできることに関してはどう思われますか、えーとそのえー、そのようなあの現在の,なんていうのかなビジネスシーンに関しての変化というのは当然認めていますで認,め認めざるを得ない立場にいるわけですえでだからこそえこういうふうにあの見られるネットワークが広がれば広がるほど、えー、子どもに向けての作品というものを作っていかなければいけないというふうにも思っています立場を取っているだけで、えー、個人的なあの感想は、えー、一切持てませんつまり我々はこの状況の中であのビジネスをさせてもらっているわけですしでそこで暮らさせてもらっていますので、えー、い,いい申し立てをしている暇がないという状況だと思っていますので。So,、um, all I can say about the present day conditions is that I, I do acknowledge the level of accessibility, the increase in accessibility to the product.、Um, in fact, I feel like I must acknowledge it because I, I would、um, be amiss, remiss if I didn't. But、um, it also made me realize that it is even more important to continue to produce good children's content.、Um, and also, I feel like I'm not in. At a point, at, in, in a position to be able to make a personal opinion because I have the luxury of having benefited from、um, such、uh, advances in whichever、uh, media and, and the ex- expansion in the media. Ah, so, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. あのこのネットに乗っけていくっていうのは一番作りとして大事なことじゃないですか。Uh, on the other hand, I also feel like I have to say that、um, with the increase in the number of、uh, methods of communication and means of communication, that、uh, there is a responsibility on the side of us creators to create、uh, practical, logical, common sense material to upload. That you know, we have to produce something that is socially responsible. And creates more social responsibility. Finally, in the last one, I'm going to say, common sense to you, you may have to start a populism in high school. I'm going to say, just if, if I may add one more thing,、uh, perhaps what, when I say common sense, it might be, it could be taken as being、uh, on the opposite stance to populism. I think that's all we have time for. So, thank you very much for coming. I'm going to show you a little bit of a picture. I'm going to show you a little bit of a picture. I'm going to show you a little bit of a picture.